thanks for joining me today, um, the first in our series of Home for the Holidays. And just in time for Thanksgiving, I am going to show you how to make gratitude pumpkins. And I thought they would be great for a tablescape for your Thanksgiving meal. These are really great because anyone can make them from young children to adults. Everyone in between can get in on the action and help out. Um, this one has words of gratitude written all around it. Um, and so you can see the words. This one, a little more incognito, has the words inside. And you can kind of peek through and see them. They're great because little kids can get involved. There's nothing really major that will um, impede them from, from helping, from saying what words they want to say that they're thankful for. So this is a great project. What you're going to need are four strips of um, paper. Should be pretty flexible paper, um, but not too lightweight. So I used 12 inch by 3 quarter inch strips, and you'll need four of those. Also, glue stick and some pipe cleaners. Now, I only had white pipe cleaners in my house, and I didn't want to go out and buy um, colored ones. So I found some acrylic paints and um, painted the white pipe cleaners using a Q-tip. So I have different colored pipe cleaners that we can use. And then you need something to poke a hole in the middle of your strips of paper. I used a paper clip, um, but you can also use like a uh, thumbtack, anything sharp that's going to point, poke a hole in it and make it easier for you to put that pipe cleaner through at the end. And then you need something to write your words of gratitude with, a pen, a sharpie, whatever you want. So once you get all your um, strips cut out, um, sit down and write your gratitude words out. However you want to do it, you can see if you use a lot, it kind of decorates it up a lot. Whatever you want to do. Once you get all that done, then comes the, the constructing of it. And what you would do is on one end, of the piece of paper, you simply glue it and you glue them together in a circle so that you have this. And you add a little more glue to that. And you put this one perpendicular. Add some glue to that side so that you can bring this around and glue it like that. So now you have them crossing like this. The third strip again. Go straight. I'm going to put some glue on top. and then kind of go in diagonally. Now I know what I forgot to mention was, before you start the gluing, it makes it easier if you bend the paper just in half a little bit and poke your hole in the center. Now I did this previously, which is why I forgot to tell you now, so that all the poked holes will be on what is the bottom now. It's going to be easier if you do that now. So then let's put some more glue on here. And then some glue. All right, so now you have the skeleton of your pumpkin. And then you take whatever pipe cleaner you want, cut it to the size you want, and put it through the holes of your paper. Now I did the first one I did of these 
I did the holes last. And let me tell you, it's a lot easier if you do them before you construct this and put it together. But it can be done. So it goes through all four strips. Just like that. Kind of wiggle it in there. I like to bend it and then bend it again so you give yourself a little stem. I like to squat them a little bit, give them a little more of a pumpkin look. And there you have it. Just as easy as that. Your gratitude pumpkin for your holiday table. Thank you for joining us. We hope to have more of these. Um, one a week until uh, the holiday season is over. And so we hope you join us again and see what's next. Thanks.